morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Ilya Kolosov, and today, June 23rd, I'm studying a seven-day series where I talk about dance shoes and all things related to them. Who am I to talk about this? I'm somebody who's been vending for the last eight years nationwide, uh, selling shoes to thousands of people and helping out countless dancers find the right fit. So I got something to say about that. So this is the first day, and today's topic is gonna be how are dance shoes supposed to fit? Uh, tune in tomorrow about the same time. We're gonna talk about heels, shapes, and heights. Then the rest of the topics are gonna be major things not to do with your dance shoes, what vending is like, what are some major accessories for dance shoes that one should keep in mind, and we are gonna close out with uh, fittings and how do they work. Let's get right into it. I don't wanna take up your time, but do tune in if you care about dance shoes and want to learn more about uh, things that I know. There's three things necessary for somebody uh, to look at if they want to get a good fit. I'm gonna demonstrate this on a simple uh, smooth shoe called the Eva. This is one of our classics. It's a shoe with a closed nose, um, two inch heel and open sides. If anybody doesn't know the difference between smooth shoes and standard shoes, I'll get into that as well. But basically standard shoes have walls on the sides and smooth shoes have no doors. When you're trying on a dance shoe and you don't know if it's the right fit or not, you have to look at three things. First, your toes have to be uh, pretty much right at the edge where the shoe ends. There shouldn't be space there. If there's space, that means the shoe is too big. If your toes are curling up, that means that the shoe is too short. So you gotta find that sweet spot in between. And because we make shoes in centimeters, it's easy to get the perfect fit. You just go up half a centimeter or go down half a centimeter. But we'll talk about that on the last day during shoe fittings. Second, uh, there shouldn't be any room in the heel cup. So your heel must be flush against the wall. So if this is my heel, I want it pretty much like that. I don't want it like this. That's bad. The reason why is uh, a dance shoe is not really a shoe. It's more like a tool for uh, dancing that looks like a shoe. If it's loose when you're dancing, then you can hurt yourself. The third major thing is your over the toe box area has to be tight. So you shouldn't have any ga gaping here. It should be very tight. Um, again, if it's loose, you're wobbling and you're unstable and that could get really dangerous for you and your partner or your teacher. Uh, that's basically it. Um, I don't have any uh, Latin shoes with me because I recently moved into an office where all my shoes are. I just happen to have this one because I have to stone it. But for Latin shoes, the major difference is if this is the bottom of the shoe, your toes have to be right at the edge. A lot of beginner dancers don't really believe that because they think of dance shoes as regular street shoes. But if your toes are like this, and again, this is the, this is the shoe and this is your foot. If your toes are like this, when you point your foot during dancing, a lot of this shoe gets exposed and you actually trip over it. If your shoes, if your toes are over the edge, then say goodbye to your toes because they'll be just cut to shreds by the floor. So what do you do if the shoe is too loose? You have to change the width or the size. Uh, that's where fittings come in and people like me come in. Um, that's a topic for a different video, but in general, you do not want to be buying dance shoes online without a consultation. It's a good way to waste your money and with the restocking fees and general reluctance to help by big companies you're gonna get yourself in trouble so if you need help reach out to me and I'll help you out share this video with your friends whoever has been thinking about getting dance shoes and is on the edge and doesn't know what to do I'm here to help give me likes and if this video was helpful please leave some sort of a comment if you have questions about dance shoes that you would like me to answer within the next seven days then uh, of course leave them in the comments as well and I'll be happy to answer as many of them as I can. To keep the audience engaged, I'll be giving out this t-shirt uh, to one person per day. Leave your comments down below. Uh, really just anything works. Again, my name is Ilya Kolosov and I hope this did not take too much of your time. If you have any shoe-related questions, I'm here for you. Peace until tomorrow.